J.E. Advance has uh, released a new notification yesterday. So we will discuss on that topic. And this year, J.E. Advance make a blasting news. So in that blasting news, we will tell you that what is the latest news. Uh, previously, as you know that either you are the uh, Indian student or overseas, overseas student, J.E. Advance have only two attempts. So one in same year and one in next year. So this year, what they have done notification, you can see that this year a candidate can attempt J.E. Advance maximum of three times. So previously they have the two attempts only, but from this year you can attempt as a three, three attempts. Okay. So now here you see then J advance maximum of three attempts, three consecutive years. Three consecutive years means if you are appearing in this year 2025 for J main, then you can also write in 2026 and in 2027. But what happened previously that you they have the two consecutive years. So if you are written 12th in 2024, so you will only written in 2025 only so you have the two attempts only but from this year they have the three attempts so if you retain j main or j advanced in 2024 so you can write also in 2024 2025 2026 also so from here onwards you have the three consecutive years if you are appearing 12th in this year 2025 so you can write examination 2025 2026 and 2027 also so it's have a very big time so this is a very big update in j advance and what the second topics they also make modifications in age also so previously uh, they have the low but this year if you are born in from october 1 2000 after october 1 2000 then you can also write the examination so it will be coming nearby 25 years if you belong from ST, ST and handicap category, so in that category you have the 5 years also extra exemption. So you can uh, see that a relaxation of SC, ST and handicap, they have been, these candidates should have been born on or after October 1995. That means it's 5 years. So it will be going up to 30 years. So for general candidate, it will be 25 years age barrier and general OBC candidate for 25 years. If you belong from SC, ST, handicap or either you are OCI or PIO candidate, then in that category you have the 25 years. So for SC, ST, handicap 30 years and for others category they have the 25 years. So now we will discuss from the starting. In the starting, you have there a performance in JMN 2024 for eligibility criteria for Indian nationals that the guy who belong from the India by birth and the second one OCI POI overseas citizens of India and POI candidate. So, jo, uh, before 4 3 2001, you can also see that. Who have secured OCI PIO card before 4 3 2021? In that case, there is one <coughs> court order. So, basis of that, only government is recognized you as an Indian national or as, a, or as in NRI category. So, for that guy who are the Indian nationals by birth, or second one who is belong from OCI PIO, but they have the card before 4 3 2021. So, for that, from you have to uh, come under the 2,50,000 student because they have the two step examination. First one J main and second one J advanced. So in last year in J main there is a nearby 14 lakhs student appeared in J main. In that 2,50,000 candidate qualify for the J advanced. So this year also same thing. So first you have to qualify for, for the J advanced in that they are totally 2,50 student qualify for the ad advanced expenses. What is the criteria for that? You can see that. They have the also they have the also reservation scheme here. In that reservation scheme, you can also see that they have the reservation for uh, for general AWS. They have the 10% for 
for OBC NCL, they are the 27%, for ST 15%, for ST 7.5%, and remaining 40.5% for open category. Okay. And they also giving 5% originally in each category for the handicapped people. If you are uh, seeing like that, then I will make one chart also. You can see that for general EWS, for general EWS, they are giving 10%. For OBC, they are providing 27%. Uh, for SC, they are giving 15%. For ST, they are giving 7.5% and 5% in each category, in each category for PWD. Okay, for in each category, in this all evaluation, that is 5% for the PWD. And for open, open means you can also consider the general in that they have the 40.5%, see, 40.5%. Okay. So now you can see that, <coughs> that here for open, <coughs> we have 96,187 seat and if for PWD 5,063. So total coming 1 lakh, 1,250 for general AWS, 25,000 for OBC, OBC and OBC PWD 67,500 for SC and SC PWD 37,500 for ST and ST PWD uh, 18,750. Okay. So, at here you can see in, uh, if you are belong from the OCI and POI candidate, then you can also see that here as per the Honorable Supreme Court petition, the guy who have card before 4-3-2021, that will be considered as Indian National for the purpose of seat allocation to IITs. The guy who have been OCI or PIO card before 4-3-2021, so they are considering in Indian nationals and they have also claimed for the IITs but they can't get the benefit of reservation like general EWS, SC, ST, OBC in these all categories. They are considered as the Indian nationals, the guy who have been the card before 4-3-2021 but they can't get the benefit of the category like if you are belong from the OBC or you belong from the SC or you belong from the ST so you can't get the benefit of that you can get admissions in open category also in that they have the one exception if you belong from the handicap category then you can get the benefit of handicap that means you will come under the open PWD category that they have the open app the only if you are going for that then open app the only 40 40 point open at the 40.5 percent seat so you can claim in the if you belong from the oci or pio then you can claim in the 40.5 percent seat and in that they have the five percent for the pwd so if you belong from the pwd then you can claim in the pwd category but you can't claim for the reservations if you belong from the oci POI and you have the card before 40 2021 you can go the age limit already we have discussed on that that the they have for the general obc they have the 25 years then for sc ht and handicap they are giving 30 years number of attempts we already discussed that they are from this year you have the three attempts this year it kanpur is conducting the j advance so this year they are giving three years from where onwards you can write examination in 2025, 2026 and 2027 if you are appearing in 2025. If you have from the past 12 from the 2024 then you can appear in 2024, 2025, 2026 also. And uh, fourth one is criteria appearing in class 12 of the equivalent examination. So you have the past the 12th. 12th or its 12th equivalent examination if you belong from the OCI or PO candidate or you are from the Indian Nationals then you have qualified the 12th or its equivalent 12th examinations with physics, chemistry and math. See in many videos it's saying that 75% criteria removed like this, 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 this. But see you can understand that officially, officially, officially AJ Advance and NTA have not announced anything regarding this. So, you can't go on that track. 
that 75 percent criteria also got removed no 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 not this one they have the only say that okay you have the uh, three attempts ex apart from the two attempts so these things only they have the clear that in many videos we seen that they saying that 75 percent criteria they can't give any confirmation about that and we also think that they can't do that one because uh, this thing happened because nta have uh, uh, formed one committee that committee only recommended that according to that only they taken the decisions that is that committee is working under the ex isro chief so they have give, given many suggestions to the education ministry of india and according to that they are doing the things so you can't go on that track that they will remove the 75 percent criteria also up to now they can't give any confirmation if in uh, after some time, if will they give in or they give in any update, then we will tell you. Up to now, they have the 75%. You can't go on that track. Okay, so you have qualified 12 from the any recognized board, which is valid board from the either it's India or either it's out of India. The guy who having the uh, uh, result after 21 or 22 also, they are also eligible for the examination. Or the guy who have qualified uh 12 from the 2023 then then that person is also eligible for the uh application form because <clears throat> they are giving the three three times so 2023 2024 and 2025 also earlier admission at is earlier admission at is with the guy who got the admissions in iit earlier but they can't join the iit so they are not eligible for the J advance either you belong from the India or you are Indian nationals or either you belong from the any other country you are OCI or PIO candidate so if you take in admissions in any IITs and you can't report the college then you are not eligible for for the J uh, J advance the guy who had got the seat in uh, IITs but at at the time before of last uh, last round counseling he eliminated from the counseling or he withdraw from the counseling that 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 guy is eligible for the counseling before last round if you withdraw from the counseling then you are eligible for the counseling eligibility criteria for foreign national candidate and for those oci poe candidate who obtain their oci poe card on or after 4 3 2024 for appearing for J advance 2024. The guy who got the OCI POE card after 4 3 2021. See, already in India, there is one Supreme Court decision according to that. The guy who got the OCI or PIO card before 4 3 2021, so they are considered as Indian nationals and they can get the benefit of Indian nationals. Whatever the Indian national candidate get the benefit, they also get the benefit. They have the one exception only. What is the, that exception? Then the exception is you can't get the benefit of your category. You are considered as a open category. And in that, there is also one exception case. If you belong from the handicap category, that is PWD, then you can claim in that category. So if you belong from the OCI or POI and you have the card before, before 4 3 2021 then you can claim in the open category or open pwd also also you can't get the benefit of category reservations like general aws obc ncl sc st you can get the benefit of only open handicap category suitability criteria for foreign national candidate and for those oci poe candidate who obtain their OCI POE card on or after 4321 for appearing for J advance 2025. So they have the candidate for foreign national candidate, candidate who are not citizens of India by birth or naturalized, but not overseas citizens of India, person of India origin, candidate who have secured OCI POE card before 4321 shall be considered as foreign national. If you have the card before 4321 shall be considered as foreign national so the foreign national candidate at the right of j advance they have not required to write the j main examination so the foreign candidate 
they don't have to write the JE main examination. They directly fill the JE advanced application form because in each colleges, whatever they have in the seat, they, they are providing 10% super number seat in each category for the foreign nationals. So you don't have to write the JE main examinations. The candidate who belong from the India or either you have the OCI PIU card before 4-3-2021 and you are coming under Indian nationality category then you have to write the JEE main and after that you have to come in the 2,50,000 student who have qualified for the JEE advance and then you can go. If you belong from the foreign national so you don't have to write the J main exemption, you are directly going in J advance in 10 percent super memory quota. So, all the seat allotted for the foreign national candidate will be super memory with a cap of 10 percent total number of seat. So, you can see that here in notification also they have clarified that they have clarified that all the seat allotted to the foreign. National candidate will be super memory with a cap of 10% of total number of seats in every course. So, for that, I teach created the super memory seat 10%. So, they can't get the seat of Indian nationals. Either you are OCI or POI or Indian national by birth. So, they have the special 10% seat for, in, uh, for foreign students. So, and one thing also you can consider that you can't get the benefit of general AWS, OBC, NCL, SC, ST and PWD categories or subcategories. If you are coming in foreign national candidate, so you can't get the benefit of PWD category also. OCI POE candidate, as per the decision dated public 3 days passed by the Honorable Supreme Court of India, if you are before 4th, it shall be considered as Indian national. So, if you are having the card before 4th, it you are considered as Indian national. So, if you are coming in Indian national, so we have already told you that you have to write the JE main examination, then you have came in the 250,000 candidate, and then you can go for the JE advance. And you can't get the benefit of any category, you can get the benefit of only PWD. So, you can get the open category benefit or eligibility career. You have the same age limit, whatever the 25 or 30 is here. You have also the three attempts as we have discussed earlier only examination. You have qualified the uh, 12th equivalent examination either in India or from the abroad in any country. Earlier admission in IIT, they have the same procedure. If you get the admissions in IIT, then you can't eligible for this year. So, if you want more related news from the engineering, so you can subscribe our channel and like our videos and I think that if any news updated coming, then we will so, uh, shortly update you. Okay, thank you.